Hello Internet! Welcome to another episode of Iron Eats on the Road. We are back in the Podium Mall where we will be visiting once again Bird Boss and we'll be trying their Bao Burger, which is a specialty chicken sandwich. Instead of using a brioche bun, they use a bao, a, a rice flour bun with special toppings. And I am curious to see how that will work as opposed to regular bread. So let's go get one. Okay, we are back from Bird Boss and we just got our stuff. So here is the bao bun, 229. It, they say it's it's a bao bun with this chicken. I got it in hot, available in hot and regular. I got it hot. It comes with tomatoes, tabasaki sauce, which I'm told is like teriyaki sauce, and pickled onions. And for a side dish, since it's new, they also have sweet potato wedges. This is $2.29, this is $99. So let's try them. So looking at the, this container is a little deceptive because it reminds you of sliders and I always think like it, it makes me always think like the burger isn't that big, but it actually, it's pretty freaking big. Like, see? But like, uh, I'll have to like open my mouth all the way and I'm not used to that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we'll get a closer look. It is a nice big piece of meat, and the pickled onions are there. Dabasaki sauce, I'm gonna try it a little bit on its own. Yeah, teriyaki, it's smoke, just a little smoky, sweet, caramelly. Yeah, I guess we'll let's try it. Mm, it. Smells nice, it was just freshly fried, so just brought it down like not five minutes ago so it's still good you can tell that the bao rice bun they toasted on the grill so it has like you know crisp exterior here also here they toast both sides but this one more this one the bottom not so much you know we all go to the good bottom uh, all right let's try it First off, like it's good, right? Um, all works. Like, the chicken is crispy and juicy, but not greasy. The tebasaki sauce is great flavor. And the pickles give it give it um, you know a little bit of freshness. Truth be, well, I can't find the tomatoes to be honest. I'm not sure if they're here or if they just removed it because I am looking and you know, get you for yourself. I see pickles, I don't see tomatoes. They may or may not have removed them. The bread, it is a little tough. I will say it, it's not as soft and as giving as brioche. Mm. Don't get me wrong, it's not chewy, but definitely more of a chew. And I will say that since it's a bao bun, the bottom, the bottom piece of bread is not is not turning mushy, so I like that. But for for heavier sandwich or brioche, like you know, by the time you're done, the the bottom half of the bread is like just mush. So I appreciate that. Um, it does have it's a bit unwieldy. The chicken slides out of bread of the bao bun. Mm. The pickles aren't strong, it doesn't have a strong pickle flavor, it's very mild. It is a light pickle. It's not super 
astringent or anything like that. But it works because it's it's gentle flavors. I will say it's not a big punch of spice and heat in your mouth. It's gonna be a messy sandwich, and you kind of have to. Be aware when you eat it just to hold everything together. I had noticed that because everything just kind of slides. Mm. But it is delicious. Yep. I'm looking through the sandwiches I ate it. No tomatoes. Which is honestly not a big deal for me because tomatoes are not my favorite burger component, especially in chicken. This little piece of paper is definitely not going to be enough to keep your hands clean. And you will definitely need some napkins. Overall, the bow, it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. It's quite tasty, but I have to admit, like, I'm not sure I would say it adds anything to it, like what it brings to the table besides the lower half of bread being tougher. It's just not as big. It's a bit slightly tougher compared to the brioche. After eating this, the main thing it makes me think is I would like to try this in a bread bun. So, yeah. But the flavor combinations all work, but the bao bun in itself, I'm not so sure. I would not. I would not necessarily recommend that. Uh, the flavors are great. I would say that I'd ask if they could put it in the brioche bun. The flavors are good. Um, so, let me wash this down with some water. No Coke Zero for now. Yeah. So, we still have some sides. This is a new one. It's Sweet potato wedges. So I'll try them. Crispy. Um, yeah. They're fried the way you want, that they're crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. I am trying to find a sweet potato flavor, and I'm not getting it. It almost makes me think that I got the wrong order, but I specifically said sweet potato fries. So, the coating is breading the flavor is similar to what you get for the twister fries, but not as pronounced, but that flavor profile of the McDonald's Swister fries. It's okay, but I'm, I like sweet potato fries, right? I'm not getting any. I'm not getting the sweet potato flavor. If it's because you're putting these spices in the way, or they may have gotten my order wrong, and that's the thing. Like, either they got my order wrong, which ain't good, or did it, they got my order right, and I'm not sure if it's sweet potato. So neither scenario is good. So yeah, um, for 99 bucks, if you're eating like maybe in that restaurant, great. But I would, I have a hard time, hard recommending this. 
especially if you like sweet potato fries. It just tastes like regular potato. So, oh yeah, that's it. Can we just wash it down? Some water. And there you have it. And then Ian eats on the road. Bird Boss again for the Bow Burger. It's done. So, overall, review. Um, I like the sandwich, but I don't necessarily like the bread, the bow, which is supposed to set it apart. So for that, uh, so I would, I would actually just, for me, right, for right now, it's the bow has to have a reason for me to have it. It's like, oh yeah, that it works with the bow specifically and not, it doesn't make me want to try it with bread. So for that alone, it's kind of a miss for me. Sweet potato fries, what can I say? It feels like regular potato. I can't taste the sweet potato flavor, so that's also a miss. A um, little bit disappointing, but Bird Boss is still good. Their sandwiches are on point, their poppers and their tenders are on point, as in a previous video. So this one's a bit of a miss, but I still recommend them. And that's just my opinion. Feel free to try it for yourself. I'm explaining in the comments below. Please subscribe if you liked it and thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Hey there again fellas. Uh, so after I ended the video I kind of couldn't let go of whether my taste buds were out of whack or someone made a mistake. So I went back with the remainder of my what I thought was sweet potato fries brought it back to Bird Boss and asked them if that was actually their sweet potato and it turns out no it was not and yes they made a mistake so these are the you know sweet potato fries and it is unfortunate that you know it was done during of all things when I was doing a video so but to their credit they acknowledged their mistake quickly and gave me a replacement and they also threw in a free dessert of a crack pie and I like their crack pie so this is good and so as far as I'm concerned um, I respect that Bird Boss recognized their mistake and made amends immediately so we're good it was just unfortunate but I did not for the record I did not play any like do you know what I'm doing or I'm shooting a video I didn't say anything of the sort so they were doing it as excellent customer service and I respect them for that thank you Bird Boss so we will just review the sweet potato fries. Yeah, so it doesn't have that spice, the spicy flavor, aroma of sweet, the potato wedges. It's very clean. I'll say it's very clean. It's a lot more curlier than I expect. I was thinking that if I was wondering if that might be the ones from the bag, but they're definitely not. At least, I don't know of any bagged sweet potato fries or cut like this, so they, I'm sure they make their own. The interior is super soft. Like, it looks burned. It might, or it might look burned because it's kind of dark, but I can assure you it is not. And it is so tender. This is so tender. It's like... Mm. The sweetness is there. Um, it's exactly what you want in a sweet potato, but I just, I love these. I'm gonna say, I would, I would go to Bird Bus and get just this for a snack. That's how much I like them. So yeah, I am gonna polish this off but there you go sweet potato fries from bird boss and arguably probably the this is the biggest success of the things i tried today so, kudos to bird boss and thank you for watching stay tuned for the next i needs video and i promise that the next on the road video will be in a different restaurant this time so peace